Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to work with angles that are known as half angles. It is not a specific proof you need to know, but they always come up in the exams. Now, a half angle when they're referring to it is usually 22,5 degrees. Reason being is because it's a half angle of 45 degrees or a 15 degrees because it's a half angle of 30 degrees. Now when you're working with a half angle, the best rule to work with is cos 2a. The reason for this is because cos 2a works with all identities. It works with cos and it works with sin. Now the general thing that they would ask you is, Calculate sin 22,5. Calculate cos of 22,5. Depending on which one they choose will depend on which cos rule you take. So if I say calculate sin 22,5 degrees without using a calculator, then immediately you know I'm going with cos 2a is equal to 1 minus 2 sin squared a. Why the one with sin? Because the question asks specifically for sin. Now all you have to do basically is make sin the subject of the formula. So we have cos 2a minus 1 is equal to minus 2 sin squared a. Then I'm going to divide by minus 2. So I have cos 2a minus 1 divided by negative 2 is equal to sin squared a. Then I'm going to square root it and you square root both sides. So we have sin a is equal to the root of cos 2a minus 1 over minus 2. Now what are we doing? We letting a equal to 22,5 degrees. So wherever A is, I'm now going to put 22,5. So I have cos 2 times 22,5 minus 1 all over minus 2 root is equal to sin 22,5 degrees. Now look what happened here at cos 2 times 22,5 I have cos of 45 which is a special angle. Once you have it linked to a special angle then you can continue with the basic algebra. At this stage they just want to see that we understand that I have root of 2 over 2 minus 1 all over minus 2 rooted which will give us 2 minus root of 2 all over 4 rooted. Now at this stage you can put it into your calculator or you can work it out algebraically. Now algebraically means I have to get a common denominator on the first row getting myself a common denominator is equal to then we are going to divide it by negative 2 which gives us then we have top times top bottom times bottom and we have our final root sign on top. Now this algebra doesn't usually have marks allocated to it. It is good to know especially if you're entering university and you may not use your calculator then you need to know I'm getting a common denominator. Once I get a common denominator I'm dividing by negative 2 then I'm finally using my root. 
but if you go from this step into the substitution and then to the final answer which your calculator does it will also be accepted thank you for watching